more awareness that data governance is not only limited to a single government actor, that opening up data is a process and that it is not a panacea for a range of land and data related problems, allows the open data uh, movement to contribute to a roadmap for improved service delivery and policy making about land while protecting the land rights of the vulnerable and the marginalized. If data custodians, researchers, practitioners, uh, including the donor community, apply some of these ideas to a conversation about land and open data governance, we have and can avoid unintentionally co-opting indigenous data and knowledge and avoid removing indigenous people from these data governance processes and conversations. Open data advocates, I think, have to be informed about developments with regards to recognizing and formulating policies and principles about concerns from indigenous communities about their data sovereignty.